crying to me when the invaders wreak their vengeance upon you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the Twan House. We couldn't risk you freaking out. It's okay. I'm sorry that I don't have a trunk, but it might also be that trunks are overrated when the tongue of a Twan Ha can do the same job. I have a tongue. I could help. Don't even think about it. Okay. Is the Galenda in any kind of trouble? It looks fine to me. Look again. She is in pain, Ulukai. Can't you hear it? She cries all moon long. I'm her mother, and I don't know how to help her. You have to do something. What do you want me to do? Please don't ask for a bedtime story. I don't know any of those. Those damned Kaminai are attacking her. They've been circling the village, lured in by the stench of our ventilopes. Azan knows how to handle a few more wings. Be cool. <sighs> I will not be cool! Azan can keep the Kamenai away from the Ventilopes, but he cannot shoot anywhere around my daughter. The Kamenai are smart, so they stick to her back like parasites and feed on her. Ugh. Ripping her flesh apart, bite after bite, and I can only stand here watching. Azan is not skilled enough. He would miss the target and hurt my baby even more. Okay, okay, let me handle this. The village won't survive another attack if I'm not around. I know. I cannot ask you to stay here. I'll ask Azan to train more protectors. Azan's bow can't do much against the invaders, I'm afraid. What are you suggesting, my friend? I don't know. Maybe the Dalatai Guardians can help secure the village if they have access to proper weapons. You're the leader now. It's your call. I am not a coward like Hatso. We will fight these invaders with whatever we have. Amiya is looking good. Nice job, Doc. The village is good, but the villagers are despairing. Are you kidding me? What do they have to complain about? You guys are safe. The harvest is harvesting, no climbers falling from the treetops anymore, and Zorkins for everyone. I mean, tie a few hammocks to those trees, and Amiya wouldn't be far from my idea of paradise. They're children, Ulukai. They miss their children. The young Talans who went north for work have probably been captured by the invaders. I believe they are now slaves in the Helidium mines of Desan. I want them free. Back where they belong. Back to their families. The same families who called you a fool not so long ago? To lead Amiya, I must leave my past behind. These families are my family. It's my duty to help them. Your girl is taking care of the harvest all by herself? Not bad. I told you to keep the faith, Ulukai. The will of the Yods is finally revealed. Amiya prospers. Yeah, I wouldn't pop the champagne quite yet. The invaders could come back at you with everything they got. End your worries, Ulukai. Azan is training more protectors. Morag harvesting is back on track. Amiya is growing stronger than it ever was. Do they have enough firepower to raise this place to the ground? Stay sharp, Doc. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Your Galanta is looking for new plants to eat outside the village. If she gets too close to one of the invaders' bases... Yes. This is why I have asked more to diversify. We have harvested the Morax, and now we must harvest this quart that my baby loves to eat. Is more okay with this? I am Amiya's leader, mother of the Galenta. He knows I speak for the village. 
What do you think will happen to Hatso? I don't know. He's an outcast now. Left to himself, without the support of Amiya. Well, you're already a better leader than he was. Mother of the Galenta and all. That's something else. Thank you, Ulukai. You are truly the legendary savior from my father's stories. He would have been proud of you. All right, watch your back, Doc. It is impossible to watch my back, Ulukai. It is my back. Are you okay? It's all happening again. Emir, it's too dangerous for me. I have asked Doc to keep documenting the Galenta's progress. And I can't wait to tell Rifar about the legendary creature I've discovered here. He's going to eat his own hand. You still haven't told me what happened in Procriana. Ask the Dolatai Guardians. They know. Safe travels, Kareg. No, I can't stay. I must go. What's up, Moore? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as Doc. I have a bad feeling about Hatso. Is he a sore loser? He chose exile, not out of dignity, but out of fear. He knows the invaders will return here with force. But I have known Hatso for many moons. He'll be back with a vengeance. What about you? No hard feelings? You wanted to become a chief. Ah. All I ever wanted was respect for my social class. Doc comes from the treetops, just like I did. He gave me new responsibilities. He has all my support. New responsibilities. Doc has tasked me with the breeding of Quart, the vomiting plant. My people have started to grow it in the treetops so the Galenta has easy access to it. However, there are complications. What's the problem? Quart lasts for many cycles, but it only grows during the rainy season. If we want to accelerate its development now, we need more water. I don't remember the last time it rained in this dimension, so what's plan B? Azan captured a Venelope and tried to teach it to suck water from the lakes and spray it on the plants. But Venelopes are wild, and Azan is no tamer. He kept threatening the animal with his bow. I wouldn't have fared any better. Yeah, well, the Venelope's gone now. Azan shot at it, and it blew away. Can't you get an expert to tame the damn birds? To tame a venelope, you need one, many moons of practice, and two, a venelope. Venelopes are very rare in the meal. Zahn only caught one by mistake. He was aiming at something else completely. When I was a kid, I taught our parrot to imitate the sound of the doorbell. It drove my mom nuts. That's the limit of my bird training skills, though. You know where I can find an expert? Sap has been quite successful at training their venelopes to fish. A tamer there could teach him how to water our plants. Zorkins won't be an issue if he can strike us a deal with Sap. Here. When could I ever say no to the beach? I'll find someone. Maybe they rent surfboards over there. The Zorkins I gave you are not for leisure time. Can't a man get one single day off? Jeez.
Doc only has the well-being of Emiya in mind. I know. I'm sorry for what I did to his... daughter. She's a member of our community. A citizen of Emiya. Just like me. But some will remain blind to this. What about recruiting Azan? Azan is too old for the office. Catch you later, more. Much later, okay? Need a Gandali pot.
nice find. off. You assy oars are a real pain in the... Ouch!
You ass yours are a real pain in the... Ouch! I think I'm going the wrong way.
Ow, where's my fly swatter?
Yeah, these little gluttons saved me. Say that again? Procreon is crawling with a little... Uh, what do you call them? Oh, the Psy. They infested the capital after most of the Talans evacuated. Psy just wants a quiet place to live in peace. Well, Psy eat ass years. Did you know that? We don't know much about Psy, even though they're probably the oldest life forms on Adelpha. I guess living in peace also helps them live longer. If they were persecuted, they would fight or revert, just like the rest of us. Okay, sensitive topic. I gotta go now. Hi, Refar. Do you have anything for me? Talk about a killer queen. Here you go. Queens neither kill nor revert anyone. Look at her. She is gorgeous. I want to improve the swarm, so keep those specimens coming. Such a lovely, lovely queen. I can't wait to stimulate her so she starts producing pheromones. You can't wait. Ugh. Damn it. Now I have this totally messed up image in my mind. What good are the pheromones? I have an idea. Nurikon could create some sort of Asior beacon. He'll know what to do. Let me draw you a basic plan of what I have in mind, and a list of necessary ingredients. Z-Dog Sap, Red Halidium, and those precious Asior Queen pheromones. How can I find Z-Dog Sap? By slaying the nasty carnivorous creatures we call Z-Dogs. Duh. You won't get their sap without a fight. See you, Refar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes. I'm back. Sorry about that. So, I was saying... Okay, sensitive topic. I gotta go now. Slay down. Yes. I'm in Procriana. What's your status? Flying to Sapa. My Vantelope needs to be patched up, and Shama Zalib owes me. Okay, listen. Refar can control swarms of domesticated Asiors, and they are nasty. I know. They attacked me more than once. I need something to throw the beacon at the bad guys. You folks got any slingshots?
always love the seaside. Molokai, Tsapa's Daoka is still inactive. If you're looking for its core, my Dolotai guardians have discovered its location. The invader's outpost near the beach. Good scouting, Liaz. I can see the coordinates on the map. Thank you. How's the tide today? The what? Well, aren't you a fisherman? We call ourselves Fisher Talans. We fish for Senecta. My name is Baram, and you are... Call me Cutter Slade. Good to meet you, Baram. Do you happen to own any scrolls? I used to borrow them from the Dano Library before Procriana was attacked. A rich source of information, but they're rare now. There's this librarian, Kurek. He's rebuilding the library. If you have a library scroll, I should probably return it to him. But of course, here it is. The old Talan and the Senecta. A fishing man. Is fishing Sapa's main thing? Yes, it is. We've been living in isolation since the invasion started, and we fish to survive. Synectas tastes like roasted sword, but we have to do what we have to do. In a way, we have everything we need here, or almost everything. Almost? I heard Gunair is missing. Sapa can't survive too long without a tamer. When is the last time you saw Gunair? It's been too long. I don't know what he's doing. We need more fishing ventilopes to take over from the ones that are hurt or resting. I used to go fishing with my uncle. Can I see the types of rods you guys are using? What do you mean? Fishing rods? I mean, you must be using them to... Oh, you mean fishing paddles? Nope. Pretty sure paddles are for paddling. I don't know what your uncle taught you about fishing, but you got it all wrong. <laughs> Look, here's how it's done. Are you the chief of the village? You? You look like a world traveler. An action-oriented fellow. My name is Tanak, and I am the leader of Sapa. Can I ask you something? I'm an open book. Shoot. I don't need a book, but shooting? Yes, shooting is exactly what I'm looking for. How much for the gun? 
Sorry, Tanak. It's not for sale. Sorry. Let me clarify. I need the hand attached to the gun. Your hand. Pulling the trigger. I'll pay you. What's so special about this little settlement you have here? It's beyond special. This little settlement is the gateway to the Seas of Adelpha. It's a community of fine, upstanding fisher talent and... Oh, who am I fooling? The community dwindles by the moon. Our economy tanked once the invaders closed the Daoka, and the only fish left are Synecta's. I've never tasted Synecta before. You like it? Do I have any other choice? Those nasty carnivorous fish have become our main source of food. Mainly because they ate all the other fish. Something to do with the temperature of our waters. But Am explains it better than I do. Talk to him if you want to know more. What can you tell me about Zalab? Oh, you want to sit and chat with the chief, huh? Discuss the personal life of every single one of my people while sipping on lampe and snacking on grilled senegta? Fine, but only after you deal with our gamma problem. Please. The things you do for barbecue. How can I turn the Daoka back on? Portals are powered by old energy cores, free to land technology, and the invaders confiscated them all. So we're kind of stuck here. Anyone who tries to retrieve the core gets reverted by the invaders, including my dear, dear brother. So we just stop thinking about it. They must be keeping it in one of their bases. There you go, action man. Get that brain working. I've forbidden the Talans from going near the closest base, but if you, uh, if you want to steal back the power core and power the Daoka, I wouldn't be mad. I'd be happy. Why do the Ventilopes hang around Sapa? I haven't seen much of them anywhere else. Ventilopes love to eat fish heads, and we love to eat every part of the fish but the head. So it's what you call the perfect partnership. I'll come back later. of killer birds, just what I need. Now. 
You're coming with me, plant. Got some of those. 